using a graph with u plus b on the vertical axis and u b on the horizontal axis. The plotting this u plus b on the vertical axis and the u b on the horizontal axis. Before we plot our graph, we need to do a reasonable field for both axes, for vertical axis and for the horizontal axis as well. Here lies the problem how to calculate your full scale. It's much, much important because if you make the scale a wrong way can be First, we need to calculate our rhythm too. And in doing that, since we are plotting the U plus B on the vertical angle, the U plus B on the vertical axis, and the U V on the horizontal axis, let's do the scale for it. We have two procedures or two approaches in choosing a scale. The first approach is to use the maximum value divided by the number of boxes. So over here, the number of boxes are this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12. We take our maximum value, which is our maximum value, which is 64.50. Our maximum value is 64.50 divided by our 12 boxes. In this case, you we'll come and have 5.375 This is not a reasonable scale for plotting your graph. The reasonable scale in finish. We have 1, 2, and 5. These values are much more reasonable. Like if you work with this range, if you work with a scale of 1 or 2 or 5, it is much, much, much accuracy than using other values. Apart from this you can also have 0 0.1, 0 0.002. You can also have 0 0.5 by this before you need 64. Still, because you are having the 1 here, the 2, the 5, it's still reasonable. You can also have 10, 200, 5,000, and the rest. Like this. It's also reasonable. Because we have the 1, the 2, and the 5. But we 25 or 25 or 3. Is that a reasonable scale? You don't do a 55. Is that a reasonable scale? So the reasonable scales are the 1, 2, and the 5. And the decimal and hundreds of them. Over here we have 5.375. But because this is not a reasonable scale, the nearest reasonable scale to 5 is 10. So you run into one to the nearest reasonable scale, which is 10.00. If we choose a scale of 10 point zero interval, we are we can plot our graph successfully on the angle. So this as is the maximum value. If the maximum value has a place at this point, the minimum value will go out and break. So let's answer the graph. If we start here from zero, here is then we need 30, 40, 50, 60. So here is our 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. But our minimum value is 55. It's in our graph of that ground. The minimum value is the 55 around it. And then I'll square our maximum value is the 54.5. So the graph of that ground is this mean. So around this mean. And 70 is here. Our maximum value is 54. So the graph will be 12. In this, in this. It will just start from this place and end at this place. This will make your work very, very compressed. It will compress your not that point. But instead of moving this field, we can also use the second approach, which is the maximum value minus the minimum value. When you take the difference of the maximum and the minimum value, then we divide it by just 10 boxes. Over here, our maximum value is 54.5 years. 54.5 minus the minimum value which is 55 divided by our 10 boxes 0 0.95. This is also not a reasonable scale. So we write it up the nearest reasonable scale which is 1.0. If we choose a scale of 1.0 and this as it, it can also fit this our values if we plot it on the graph. But if we come and start from the origin view at this place and come from 1 to the this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Our minimum value is 55. We have to get the minimum value. And the maximum value is 54. So instead of starting from the origin zero, we will check the origin zero. Then we'll come and start from 54. So let's start here from 54. 
Then here will be 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Then our 66 have these things. Our minimum value is 55, which falls around in the end of 55. And our maximum value is 64. 64 do we have this thing? We have put in into the small portion graph we and this day, and we have tested it and this thing. Then we have to go in this that graph way. We have three this side. So that it will take the value that we have. It's like zooming in from this side. So over here, we'll not start from the origin zero, but we have through this place, and we are starting from 54. You have included a zero, and we are starting from 54 out to 56. So let me level here. Here is the U plus V, all in centimeters. <laughs> and this place is UV. All in centimeters. Now we are done choosing our skill for the vertical and angle. Let's come the horizontal angle to and choose a reasonable view for that one. So we follow this same approach. We use the first approach and the second approach as well. So the first approach is the maximum over the number of boxes. Here the number of boxes is one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, and ten. The number of boxes are this is a ten. And our maximum value is 882. So 882 over 10 boxes. Then we have 8 in 22. This is not a reasonable scale. We run it up the nearest reasonable scale, which is 100, like this. If we plot this place, we use a scale of 2 centimeters to 100 centimeters. From this place to this place, this place 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1000. But when you check your plot, your value that you are coming to plot on the graph. We have the minimum is 750 and the maximum is 800. So here it's about 700, 700, so 700 and it's like around this place. And 800 is here. So the graph will be in this small portion, but we don't want it at that. So we will zoom then for it in to fill this whole screen. So here being the 700, we can come and stand from this place and the 700. Then we use different things. So let's go to the second approach. Which is the maximum minus the minimum, all divided by 10. Maximum is 882 minus 782 minimum divided by 10 by 2. 18.2. This is a reasonable scale. We run it up to the nearest reasonable scale, which is 20. We use a scale of 28 of our but we will not start from 0 at this stage. We can start maybe from 720 and this place. Then come 740 to let's do the 720 to 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, 820, 840, 860, 880, 900, 920 at this place. 